G'day. I don't know why all us people that do DIY insist on putting multiple holes in the walls when we're searching for that elusive stud, you know, that framework behind the plasterboard. It's not that hard to find. I've got four tips that are going to help you refine your search when we're looking for that stud so that you'll be able to mount your tally, your shelf, your curtain rails, whatever it is, anything that needs a little bit more strength and support, we need to go into framework. All right, number one, I had to find a tape measure. So number one is to measure out where your studs are going to be based on common centers, as in there'll always be one next to a door jam. So then if we come across 450 or 600 millimeters, excuse my language, it's going to be in metric, but we don't know whether these are 450 or 600 centers. So it's still kind of guesswork. But it does refine the search for number two. Number two is, I've got to go find a magnet. Number two is a strong magnet. And if you were to measure across 450, oops, we're wanting the magnet to find a nail head or a screw head and that'll indicate that that's a stud line. I've just put a little bit of painter's tape over the end of the magnet so it doesn't scratch the wall. Oh, let's grab something there. And that is at 450. Okay, so we can be pretty sure that that is a stud. So depending on what height we want our shelf or our picture hook or whatever we're installing here, we just need to level up from that point. So let's put a little mark on the wall there in pencil. I can rub that off later, but that is gonna be a center of a stud. But wait, there's two more good techniques. I've just gotta go get a hammer. So this is how my dad used to find framework or a stud when he was going to do this kind of job. He'd smash a big hole in it and then look inside the wall to find the stud. That's not true. This is the acoustic hammer handle technique. So where there's no stud in the wall, the plasterboard is going to sound hollow. It's going to be empty like a drum, but where the plasterboard attaches to a stud, it's going to have more of a dense sound. So have a listen to this and see if you can tell. Hollow. Dense. And if we carry on, it should go hollow again. Could you hear the difference? This one's good, but it's not foolproof. It just tells you the general area where there's gonna be a stud. I guess you could use the hammer and the magnet in combination to refine your search. Anyway. I have just invested in a tool which is an absolute game changer. Let me get it. Number four is a stud finder. I don't know why it took me so many years to buy one of these things, but they're so simple even a monkey could use it. They're really accurate too. The cool thing is it comes with this feature where it can pick up live wires behind the plasterboard. So it saves you getting that little buzz of an electrocution. So it's a bit safer too. Jürgen K. Sounds pretty good. I'm not affiliated with this brand. I just saw that it had really good reviews. It was quality. It came with a battery and instructions, so all ready to go. There's different variations of these with different features and to suit different budgets. Man, I wish I'd bought one of these years ago and saved all of those extra little holes in the walls that we make. It's a good addition to the toolkit. Actually, it would make a good gift idea for the DIYer. I'll link to this and similar items in the description down below. Maybe you are gonna go shopping on Amazon anyway, or if you're interested in the tools that I use, but it really supports the channel if you use those links to get to Amazon. And what do you know? Every screw found the stud. Well, there's the shelf installed looking a little bit professional because there's less holes in the plasterboard wall. So that's a win. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.